Since Pokemon Legends Arceus is only a few days from releasing, I've decided to make a review of the game since the very nice people at Nintendong sent me a very real and totally legit review copy of the game. <clears throat> well, no need to stretch out this intro longer than it needs to be, let's get to it. The front of the box features some artwork with some relevant monsters, characters, and locations along with the logo and subtitles stuck right there on the middle. The back of the box features many details such as system requirements, player support, and whether or not the game has online functionality. And the reason I'm not showing a picture of the back is because... Oh, it seems like my recording corrupted. Um, I'm sure it wasn't anything important anyway. If you have ears, you'll really be using them, because this game has sounds, and lots of them. And if you are a music connoisseur such as myself, be excited, because this game incorporates music in a way that really makes the synapses in your brain activate. The sound of this game really makes you feel like you're playing a video game on a video game console. Right? 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 The graphics really are something on the screen, the best mix of polygons and textures I've seen in a while. The animations in this game are really something to witness, the characters and creatures move in ways that seem like they really are in a game made for a console that was released 5 years ago. Uh, wait, the Switch was released 5 years ago? Fuck. The story in this game is definitely made by writers doing a job that they are paid for, and you can tell by the amount of words and phrases that have been strung together in such a way that they form many sentences that make up the plot and conflict of this game. Truthfully, it was kind of hard to follow as I am in fact a Dragon Ball fan, but I can make my own interpretation of the story. Anyway, let's get to the part that most of you have probably been waiting for. First off, this game has controls, and lots of them, and you use them to play the game, and playing results in either a favorable or a negative outcome. The movement in this game has a way of making you feel like you really are tilting a joystick in different directions and hidden buttons. The core of this game comes in the form of its monsters, coming with amazing starters such as Owl, Otter, and... Uh, the rest of the selection in this game really makes you feel the world building of the region, with great choices like Fish, and even Dog. Wow. Frankly, they could not have made a better choice of creatures in this video game. Overall, I'd say the game is pretty insert characteristic trait here. And I'd probably rate it something like a 5.734321928337217 out of 10. I hope you learned something valuable and enjoyed the video. Please don't come back and have a nice day. Wink. <laughs>